Wow! Wherever you might be watching me from all over the world, a warm greeting to your heart. My name is Shion Akishon. I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Save Omega Media titled A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. A Seed in Me. What is that seed in you that is yet to discover? Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. According to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says, Arise and shine for your glory has come. Without you discover the seed in you, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to grow your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to nurture your seed, you can never shine. Without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive, you can never shine. Join me on, on Facebook Live at Safe Omega Media. Thank you and God bless you. But tell a friend to tell a friend. Thank you.
for his mercies and direct forever. Welcome, brethren, in the Lord. Welcome to Moment with Sheol. I pray tonight there shall be testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. I have my wonderful guest with me. She's here to share her experience in identifying a seed. What is your seed exactly? Your seed could be your potential, your seed could be your talent or your gift. Your seed is what you are doing easily without any stress. Your seed is what people can benefit from. And this is a platform to encourage you how you can at least unleash that great seed in you. Because the Bible makes us to understand in the book of Isaiah chapter 60 that we should arise and shine for the glory of the Lord is upon us. It means that the Lord has really worked out on us. He has deposited something beautiful and unique in us. And he wants us to use it positively in the life of people around us to bless them. And part for that reason it is important for you and i to unleash our seed to identify our seed and to use it to increase the glory the, the kingdom of god all to the glory of god i pray tonight you will not join in joining for vain in the mighty name of jesus you will have reason to give god the glory because our testimony in identifying a seed we surely encourage you tonight can i i swear encourage you to please share this program on your platform to bless so please call your friends and family and encourage them to join the program in order to bless them and i pray god will reward you bountifully in the mighty name of jesus and if you are willing to join us on this platform to share your experience in identifying your seed you are welcome as well and the number you can call us to is 079-44-278530 if you are calling from abroad just add plus four four tonight if you are willing to contribute as well type in your question on the page or you call in into the same number which is 079-44278530 i pray god almighty will meet with you in the mighty name of jesus you are welcome ma'am kindly introduce yourself to our viewers Hello viewers, my name is Bami Dele Fahire. I'm a wife, a mother, and I'm a career woman, scientist in background. Hallelujah, wonderful. Um, she's here to share how she was able to identify the great seed in her. Please, can you go back to the source if you can, please um, introduce yourself. What is your status, your uh, education background, your profession, and your Christian's life. How are you able to start your Christian's life? And you share this. Right, so um, my education background um, started at, uh, you know, all here, secondary school, go to college and university. I studied sciences. So university, I studied biomedical science, which then led me to the profession that I am now, okay. which is as a biomedical scientist. Okay. And as a biomedical scientist, we work in the lab. Um, some of us, they work in the offices, it depends, but I specialize in the lab, so okay. I'm part of um, healthcare, working within the hospitals or within okay. um, private labs. And um, essentially what it is, my work, we save lives. Yeah. So basically we work in the background with patients and, um, you know, saving the nation's wealth, okay. the nation's health. And um, what we do is we help the doctors 
when people go into the hospitals and they're not sure what it is. So we help the doctors to give answers okay. to like infections and diseases that people are um, struggling with. Okay. And so um, there are different harms, of course, of pathology. Mm -hmm. But my specific discipline is in virology. Okay, virology. Virology. Oh, wonderful. So in virology, we study viruses. Okay. And then so we look for the viral cause of infection okay. in people. And, 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 yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you for sharing this with us. Okay, can you tell us about your Christian background? How are you able to encounter Christ Jesus? What is that great experience in encountering Jesus? So, uh, I grew up in a uh, Christian um, home. My parents, they're both Christians. My grandparents as well. So I was brought up in the church. And um, as a result, it was just something I was born into. But after a while, I started identifying the gift that I have, okay. which is the gift of singing, okay. right from a very young age. Yeah. I remember like when uh, we used to go to church with my parents, yeah. I was <laughs> the youngest one you know, in the choir. Yeah. And, um, and then since then, I mean, probably around about age six, seven, you know, that's as far as I can remember that I started singing and being in the choir. Mm -hmm. And since then I've developed really and I've actually identified that this is a gift that the Lord has given me. Mm -hmm. And it's not just to have a voice, it is to impact lives. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, as I was growing up, I just see like when I minister, maybe in church or we go for a program, even right from a young age, People will come to me, like I'm um, speaking about elders, that they will say, oh, there is something about you, you're going to go far. So, you know, those back then, you're thinking, what are they what talking, are they talking about? about? Okay. What are they talking about? Because you haven't really, uh, you haven't really, you're not fully grounded yet. You don't really understand, you know, that doing? Christianity is, is a personal journey, right. you know, work with God. Mm -hmm. And then just identify, it's not because they said you can sing. That mm -hmm. is why you're singing. Mm -hmm. But then just having that relationship with God and knowing, that in my singing there is liber you know there's liberation where people are set free mm -hmm. even when I sing to myself I know the peace and joy that, that I you know, that I derive from it mm -hmm. so that is where it, it all started hallelujah yeah. wonderful what a great experience so why you are in church and then you just love singing for singing sake then you later realize that that is your identity that is your your own passion singing for God, which is a very great thing. Now, can you um, share with our viewers what are your experiences in the process? As you rightly said, that the Christian journey is a stage by stage, is gradually processed. What are your experiences as you are journeying um, forward? So, like you said, like I've been nurtured right from the young age. Mm. So, you know, in church we have different choirs. They have children's choir, women's choir, you know, youth choir. Mm -hmm. So this is like a gradual process, mm -hmm. moving from the children's choir into the youth choir, then into, then you to, know, the adult into choir. The, to the adult choir. Mm -hmm. And that is where, you know, I learned more about, it's not just singing. Mm -hmm. It's about impacting people. Impacting people, engaging the audience, and mm -hmm. just not singing for yourself, understanding that that's a reason for your singing mm. because when you go to church if you if you notice something when you when you're in church there's something that singing does even music mm. generally. Alone, in generally this. you know mm. in the world when people that all they just need is just that uh, mm. music to just relax mm. how much more the one that has the power mm. the power to heal mm. which is the the gospel that we preach because when we sing we're singing from the word of god that's right you know we're, we're proclaiming what the word of God says, mm. and in saying that, mm. we're, we're actually changing lives because I believe that there's healing in songs. That's right. There is deliverance in mm -hmm. songs. When mm -hmm. you sing, there's something that it does to your human spirit. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like it just gives you life. Even when you're down, there's some music that you listen to, and you're like, you know what? Lift your spirit. You're lifted mm -hmm. up. And then, so that was where it all started, where you're being told this is how you project, this is how you sing, you just don't sing any key, then you start learning the keys that you <laughs> sing. And, um, um, and then, so that, that had been the journey from, you know, right from a young age. And even in the church, I, you know, I, I compose songs as well, by the grace of God. So, and um, so having an, an ear to just use words from the scriptures, you know, to 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 to, 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 to sing, compose to your compose, songs. You know, to compose my own songs, and um, and um, it's been a beautiful journey. Mm. 
uh, and um, you know we're, we're still we're still moving our heads. Hallelujah! Yeah. So, so we're still growing. Yeah, it's a learning we're process. Not there yet. That's right. Because the day man stop learning, that means the man is dead. So we we continue to learn until everlasting. It is well in Jesus' name. Amen. Let me quickly acknowledge our people that joined us on the platform. I can see my great people on the platform. God bless you all for joining. My beautiful sister Buki Akindolia. God bless you, ma. My brother Jamil already. Right. Thank you for joining, sir. God bless you. May the Lord reward you. My beautiful mother, Ola Bisi Awumuti, on the platform. She said, Good evening, ma. Good evening, my sister. Thank you, ma, for joining. God bless you. My wonderful brother, Oduniga Asiz Oluwagbemiga. God bless you for joining. Thank you for your support at all time. May the Lord reward you bountifully in Jesus' name. My mother, Olutaya Olutaya, said, Well done, sisters. Thank you, ma, for joining. Amen to your prayer. She said, More anointing. Thank you, ma. God bless you. May your ministry continue to grow further in the mighty name of Jesus. Um, my sister, um, where is she? I saw her just now. My sister, did too, too. thank you, ma, for joining. God bless you. My wonderful uh, mother, um, Alice Olabisi, said, That is true. Singing is a great gift. And singing is a spiritual song. Spiritual song is a healing therapy. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, wonderful. Thank you, Ma. God bless you. Um, Mother Ulutayo said, My dearest evangelist, let's hear your sweet voice. Definitely, your widow. <laughs> Definitely, she's going to sing for us. We're going to listen to our music as well. Please stay tuned and continue to share to others. Let other people benefit what we're doing by you sharing on your platform, by you even inviting them to join the program because I believe she has been in the journey. So she has her own experience to share with us, which can uplift somebody's spirit where they are, where they are at this moment. You can never tell who is about to commit suicide. You can never tell who is looking down themselves. You can never tell who is ready to give it up and say there is no God anymore. So this program, by you sharing, it can save a life. Trust me, it goes a long way for you sharing for us. And I pray God Almighty will reward you in the mighty name of Jesus. Moving forward, hmm, what are your greatest challenge on this journey? I think it's coming out of your comfort zone. Okay. Yeah, it's coming out of your comfort zone because there's a difference between <coughs> when you sing in a church where that's your more or less like your home. Your home, your family. Your family. <laughs> There's something about it. You at times you can be complacent if you're not careful <laughs> because you start feeling like, you know, I've arrived. <laughs> <laughs> but when you go out there Then you know then that okay. <laughs> <laughs> there so are some more professional there, things. Exactly, mm. that you can learn from, mm -hmm. you know, so, and that has been what I, I tend to do, even, not just even going out, like, at times, listening to people, you know, others that are successful in, in, the, in the industry, mm -hmm. and just listen to how they do things, not necessarily to do the way they do, but just well, to, learn, to learn, learn things, things from them. them. And, mm. um, yes, it, it can be challenging, because... It's a different thing when you're still young in your youth. You have your time to yourself, you That's know. Right. You can go to choir practice whenever they call for choir practice. And, um, you know, whatever it is that is required. Mm -hmm. But you find that when careers start coming in and mm -hmm. then you're married with kids, with, you know, children, husband, it, it has its it challenges, mm -hmm. definitely. Because those really free time that you had, you have it, it no you more. don't have it anymore mm. and then you have to start prioritizing making sure that nothing is affected in, mm -hmm. in any way you have, you to, have balance to balance up. that thing you have to balance it out mm -hmm. so that can be a challenge mm. because um as much as you want to go out there and impact the world there's a ministry in the home as well there's it's, a it's started from home. Yeah, exactly <laughs> there's a ministry in the home mm. so that is where it all starts Mm -hmm. And then as much as there's a ministry in the home, there's a ministry in the marketplace, which is, you know, our professions, you know, my career. And um, one thing I've known is that, you say, I said, um, there's a scripture that says, I'm a city set upon the hill, mm -hmm. you know. I can never, I be, can hidden. never be hidden. That's right. So one thing I found is every time a lot, I mean, throughout my career, I've found when I'm at work, I tend to sing mm -hmm. like hum. That way, sometimes, you know, unconsciously. And then, so my colleagues, they, they kind of used to it. They're like, it's soothing, continue, you know, mm -hmm. don't, don't stop. Because at times, 
funny enough, at times I'm not even, I'm speaking, sometimes I'm speaking your body language, which they don't understand. But the melody they is what, you know, is what, to them. yeah, that ministers to them, you know, they're mm. like, what, what are you saying? What are you humming? And, uh, and at times, I've, I have had testimonies where people say, you know what, don't stop just keep i don't know what it does to you i think that's probably why you have this calmness hmm. which is true the the world may be going down mm -hmm. but when there's that, that sense of peace mm -hmm. because they're like how are you doing it you're not even perturbed you know mm -hmm. what what's going on mm -hmm. but you know we have the mind of christ we have the peace of christ that's and there's right. that something that that's singing mm -hmm. because there might be times where your mind is just you know you've got so much going on in your mind and just that few seconds of you know, singing and ministering mm -hmm. to myself mm -hmm. is impacting others as well, as mm -hmm. well as, you know, helping me. And what are the other things? Um, going out to minister as well, because, yeah, that, it's, um, it's a challenge. It's a, it's, a, it's a challenge. So how are you able to overcome those challenges? How are you coping with it? Because I know that, okay, if there is challenge, at times as a human, you are, you are tend to stop what you're doing. And that is the reason why we base this program on how do we overcome those challenges? Because I realize that many people started the journey already, but for some reason, just as you said, that so many things can be challenged, they stopped, they couldn't proceed forward. And not that they will really want to stop because the seed is in them. And the seed you are not using, you are not nurturing, you are not growing, it can definitely die. So what will you account for when it, it, it eventually dies? So how are you able to overcome those challenges? So the most important thing is to have a good support system. So my family, my husband, because that is where they be, <laughs> that is the pillar, do you understand? I have that support. So, and um, another thing to understand is, it's not every ministration that you will go. That's right. You know, you, and whatever we do, we do by the leading of the Holy Spirit. That's anyway, right. So it's not like every invite. You so that, that limits it because if you're trying, you can't be everywhere. There, there, there's some times where, like, for instance, two weeks ago, I had like, three different places and I'm like, there's one online, there's one that I definitely have to go, there's one that I was invited and I'm like, oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> and then you, you're wanting to say yes, but you, you have to be realistic. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you have to care about your mental health well-being as well. That's right. And you know, that, that nurturing has come from my, I mean, I would say most, especially from my husband, mm -hmm. who said to me, yes, you are a superwoman, but superwomen, they, they, they need time to recharge as well, mm -hmm. you know, because I've combined a career, especially when you're at a level in your career where it's, you know, lead, the leadership, mm -hmm. you know, stage, it, it can take its toll. That's right. So it's just that b b balancing. It mm -hmm. doesn't mean I'm going to stop. There's mm -hmm. sometimes that I have, I have sessions online as well where I do, you know, Facebook Live, but since um, just COVID. after COVID, I know mm -hmm. I have not been online like that yet, and I've not mm -hmm. been going out as well. So that was like a time to kind of you know, re refresh and then, you know, come back again. And um, not, not because, you know, one thing that with the trap that we fall into sometimes, like, because when we're not doing it as we're supposed to, you're like, I'm supposed to be singing every week or something like that, and you don't do it, you start feeling guilty. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to come to that understanding to mm -hmm. be like, you know, well, take it at a pace. Mm -hmm. Because even God, apply wisdom in all that you do that's right because god it doesn't want you to wear out mm -hmm. that you're not able to be at your best mm -hmm. so that is how i've been able to to overcome to, the challenges to, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow wonderful yeah. thank you so much let me quickly acknowledge our people online thank you my wonderful sister here today a boss said she said good evening says god bless you man thank you for your support at all time may god almighty announce you for good in the mighty name of jesus my brother odunuda odunuga asis said a mighty amen and amen again in the mighty name of jesus i pray the sign that will transform your life through this program the lord will endow you in jesus name my wonderful my boss my brother the chosen and your fair Uluwa. god bless you she, he, he said well done sister Dele. thank you for joining us sir. god bless you too in the mighty name of jesus let us continue to share let us continue to encourage people many people are down at this time please we are 
um, the light because Christ is the light. We have Christ Jesus. Let us show other people the way because Jesus is the only way. We know the truth. It has set us free. He has been there for us to enable us to understand what the scriptures is talking about. It is our responsibility to bring other people from the darkness to the light. Please do share this program and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Moving forward, how do you receive your inspiration? And how do you nurture or grow your seed? You know, I had a thought about that seed, yeah. Mm -hmm. And I see everything, you know, a seed is like, it needs, you need to nurture it. So if mm. you plant a seed and you just put it into the ground mm. without watering or doing anything, it would eventually die. That's right. A seed needs to be in the right environment, mm -hmm. yeah, which matters a lot. Mm -hmm. By the way, I mean, you know, there's if like you want to grow orange and you're growing it in a different soil to how you would grow bananas or something. Exactly. So for me, inspiration, I, it just comes. I, I think it's because it's like it's um, effortlessly. I'm not going to mm. effortlessly. I can be. We, this conversation we're having now, it can turn it into, <laughs> into song. Oh wow! It can turn into song. I want to but, tap into anointing. <laughs> you know, and um, I just found that seriously. You find it so easy. My, you know, sometimes I'm like, oh, I've got all these songs. I said, these all these songs are just not for me because I'm constantly recording, receiving. you know, receiving. Mm. Mm. And I'm telling you, sometimes I might just be just cooking or. Whatever it is that I'm doing, song just, you know, it comes to me. And um, but one thing I found is, if you're not in the right mood, nothing is coming. <laughs> it might, it might, yeah, the, it, the, there's that, there's that disconnect. Mm -hmm. Like you're try, mm -hmm. you're trying and it's not. But when, and I think I think it's because a lot of the time mm -hmm. I'm at peace with the glory of God. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. I think that is why it just flows, mm -hmm. you know. And um, yeah, that's. Yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> so now share with us how many single or full album have you done in the past and what encouraged you to do this if you um if you are able to produce any singles or full album, can you share with us viewers and where they can also watch and be blessed with it? So yes, I, I do have an album. Uh, I had the album that was in uh two thousand and eighteen. Okay. And <laughs> How that came about, that was just a testimony in its own. Mm. Because I, I, you know, you know, at times God gives you a vision, and you're like, how am I going to actualize this? Mm. And you're like, you, then then you start thinking about um, resources that you need, the time. Mm. When that time just came, I think it was just the right time, and everything just falling together. Places. Mm. Everything just worked together, mm. and I was not even planning to do like the full. Album. You know, album, but like I said, you know, the songs are just sitting there, and you're like, you've got to do something with this, it's got to come out, and then so that was how that was birthed. And what, and what, what was the title for that? Sorry, the title for that one, A Stream of His Grace. Stream of His, Stream okay. of His Grace, yeah, it is available on, um, you know, all uh, social media platforms. You okay. know, um, the the video for the album launch it's on it's on YouTube as well, okay. and um, yeah, it's um, on i on iTunes on uh, SoundCloud. It's available on the other media. Audio so, what are your handles? So, if, if people would like to watch it or listen to it, so my, uh, on Facebook I go by Bami Falek, and Instagram Bami Falek. Um, on um, Twitter, at Bami Precious. YouTube is Bami Dele Fire. Mm, hallelujah. Wonderful. Before we listen to your music, I would like you to sing with your natural voice as one of my mother have requested. Mother Hulutaya said she would love to listen to your <laughs> sweet voice. Mm. So I would like you to sing for us, please, within the short of few minutes. Thank you. Turn my man into testimony turn my mess into testimony into testimony into testimony turn my mess into testimony Oh God, my test 
into testimony. Turn my trials into testimony. Every problem that I have into testimony. Into testimony. Into testimony. Turn my mess into testimony. Oh God. Oh Lord, you know where I need a touch. Touch me where I need a touch. Only you know where we need your touch. Every viewer's touch the lives. Anyone that needs healing, I pray that you touch the lives. We pray for answers, we pray for solutions. You are the way maker. Holy Spirit, we pray. That you turn our lives into testimony, oh God. Turn our mess into testimony, oh God. Wow. Amen, amen, amen in Jesus' name. This is so wonderful. These are uh, prayer songs. These are inspirational songs. In fact, is is a is a song to connect with, even if you don't want to pray. Just sing this song, turn my mess into testimony. And I remembered Anna. She was there weeping. She was there lamenting. Every year the Bible recorded that she go to the shadow. And she wept and wept until one day the Lord stepped in and turned that mess. You don't want to experience what Anna go through. You don't want to experience what she went through in the earth and of her, um, of, what's her name? Pelina. You don't want to experience that. You could not be child or looking for the fruit of the womb. It could be the state of the country. It could be job. It could be something else. But I want you to connect in your spirit with that song. Turn my mess into testimony. And I pray, whatever you are not going through at this moment, for the reason that we listen to this wonderful song, I pray God Almighty will turn all our trouble to testimony in the mighty name of Jesus. We will continue to have reason to glorify God Almighty. This is wonderful. Please continue to share for others to be blessed with it. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. On this point, as we are moving forward, can you share with our viewers who are your mentors? Who do you look upon that? Okay, you like the way somebody is doing and you are able to, you know, they inspire you and you learn from them. Who are those people? Can you share, please? I think those. <laughs> I have, um, I will start from my immediate environment. Okay. I have a lot of sisters, you know, that when, when they sing, all you just need to hear is just the voice, <laughs> you know. It's just the voice and you're like, my goodness, can I sit here? And um, but growing up, I know definitely I grew up with Mama Bolare song. Okay. And then um, um, this, you know, this um, this Mama Fumi Arabi. Okay. I loved, you know, a song. Those, 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 yeah, I grew up with you those kind of songs and those this um Iowa. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's how you pronounce it. Ayewa. Yeah, Iowa. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and um, so from. But I feel like God is my inspiration, and that is being real. Because what I found is, the way I sing and the, the lyrics of my songs, it's not of any of no. them. Hmm. But what's funny is sometimes I hear I, I share this with you know my family members as well, and I say you know when God gives me a song, and I don't sing it hmm. on time. And I'm hearing it. Of course. 
So you know, it comes to you like yeah, from someone it's not else. Just you, from someone else. Yes. And I'm like, oh my god. That's what moment. if I'm ready to sing this song <laughs> now? They'll think it's like you know, it's <laughs> right. And I'm like, but what I tend to do when those songs come to me is either I write them down or I record them. So, you so I'm saying, forget. should in should should in case I need to sing this <laughs> in the future. Can I just come in there? You know what? Um, the Bible makes us to understand that. Whatever we have to do, this is the right time to do it. There is no wisdom, no device, no knowledge in the graveyard where we are going. So this is the, in fact, it's the greatest opportunity being alive. And when God has led you to do something, just do it there and there. Because many of you, duplicate of you, have someone is receiving the same or similar messages. So it is important for us to just take hold of the call of God and push forward. So I just want to protest what you said because it, it, it does happen. So trust me, it does like, happen to know, me as well. Times and times, it, you know, with that number, and I'm like, you know what, you know, it, it is, is what it is. It is. And, also, <laughs> and also, um, inspiration mm. from within the, my choir as well, because you know, in the choir, you, you have a lot of talents. Mm. Some things that maybe the way I sing would definitely be different from the way, and then you know, you share ideas, you know, from mm -hmm. the choir masters. I don't listen to other, you know. Um, gospel songs Artist. as well, our mm -hmm. taste and you know, but I tend to be like be myself mm -hmm. because you know at times what we what mm -hmm. we do if we're trying to say if we're listening so much mm -hmm. to a particular person mm -hmm. we then try want to sing like them like them mm -hmm. and everyone's gift is unique that's right you know nobody will be able to sing like Bami sings or like you would sing as well so that's right yeah you are very I, very right i try to be as as original as <laughs> <laughs> which is very good anyway thank you for sharing that before we go can i please um encourage my people that will be interested in these books i still have about a few of it um these books are being given to us by our sponsor. They asked me to share it out. It's more than this. I've shared it out of, and this is what I have left. Please, if you are interested, just give me a call or you text me. I will send it to you. But this one is not free. I was asked to advertise this. It's on Amazon, Understanding the Principle of Church Growth. It means that uh, how we can manage the people the Lord has put in our hands. So if you are a leader in one church or the other, or as a choir leader, as a praise worship leader, or you have one or two, three people that you, you encourage that you are leading, this can actually help you on how to grow, to grow them. Trust me, you will really be happy about it because it's this an inspiration now um, written. And it is written by our Professor Isaac, Dr. Ujutalayo. Please, if you are interested, just go to Amazon and type in Understanding the Principle of Church Growth. It will help you. And also, I have and who they shall call the Son of God, written by Evangelist Tolu Oyewole. If you are willing to have one, I will send it to you. I also have God, um, God, Word and Covenant Promises Prevail Over the Storm of Life, written by my pastor, Joy Aladeton. Trust me, this is a true life story experience, inspirational by God Almighty. It is awesome. If you are interested in buying, uh, in having this, this is the last one. I will send it to you. It is written by Pastor Joy on Aladito, and the title is Over the Storm of Life. It's what he experienced during the journey of his storm and how God has enabled him to overcome. It's awesome, trust me. I pray God Almighty we fight all our battle in the mighty name of Jesus. I will quickly um, read the comments out. My wonderful mother, Alice Bissio Latubosun said, Spirit of David shall never depart from you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. My wonderful brother, the chosen higher follower said, absolutely 100%. May God give us the courage to obey and deliver when God feed us with inspirations. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my wonderful sister. Ola Peju Johnson for joining us. God bless you, ma. It shall be well with you. Let us continue to share to bless other people and it shall be well with us so as we are moving forward we are going to our interaction section where you will answer about two to three questions and it's open to everybody
If you are interested in contributing, just type your answer to the platform, please. Type it. I will read it out when we are about to review the answer. Are you ready, ma? <laughs> Don't be panicked. <laughs> it's just a segment to encourage ourselves in returning back to the scripture as the Bible said in the book of um, Joshua that this book of law should never depart from, from you. Meditate in it both day and night. Because of the things around us, we tend to forget about the scripture. Even sometimes we just listen to the sermon, the preacher, without us even going back to the Bible to read it and see is it actually truth what they are preaching to us. So we keep in this segment in order to encourage us to enable us to understand what does it mean by even um, scripture. You know, we need to always go back to it and see what God has told us and continue to follow the way of the Lord. And I pray is what will never depart from us all in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm going to set 60 seconds for you to answer this question. And if anybody knows the question, the answer online, if you know the question and you want to answer the question, type it in or you call 79 God bless you. The first question is, why did Jesus speak in parable? Why? Yes, why does he like speaking in parable? I have my scholars online. <laughs> my wonderful, um, the chosen are your fair. I know it's online. He's so, get that answer. <laughs> um, <laughs> why does it like speaking in parable? And this, do you want to answer that before I move forward? I can try. Okay, why not? I can try. So um, I think it's so they can have a better understanding. Okay. of what he's trying to, the message that he's trying to pass across. Maybe they're able to relate more. Because when he's speaking, he's like, oh, the kingdom of heaven is like in two. And then when he's like, oh, there's so many things. When, God, when Jesus speaks, he doesn't speak straight. So I think it's, um, yeah, oh, could it be to catch people up? <laughs> but yeah. no, I think it's just to relate. It's so that they can understand. Okay. The second yeah. question, who was the only female judge in Israel before kings ruled Israel? We'll put that one out on this. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this next question, which is the third question. Who is the only woman whose age is mentioned in the Bible? Who is the only woman whose age was mentioned in the Bible? I think it was Sarah. Okay. You think, think or you are saying it? Pardon? Yeah, <laughs> okay. So, um, one, two, three. When it was mentioned about her age and Abraham's age before they had their child, I think. Okay. <laughs> the next question. I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. Who said this word in the Bible? I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. I think there's more than one occasion where that was said in the Bible. <laughs> so you are trying to cut corner. I'm trying to cut corner. <laughs> are you going to give me no. a hint? <laughs> you have to give me a hint. <laughs> Your time stopped now. So I will okay. leave one minute for people on the platform to, to answer the question. Please, if you know the answer, kindly share with us. Please kindly type it in and you can as well call the studio number 07944278530. The first question is, why did Jesus speak in parable? The second question is, who was the only female judge in history before kings rule? And the third question is, who is the only woman whose age is mentioned in the Bible? And the last question, which is the fourth question is, I am the Lord's servant, may your word to me be fulfilled. Okay, let me reveal the answers. Oh boy. Well, <laughs> well done to you anyway. The first question you got it right. The Lord always speak in parable for better understanding, for them to um, understand better. He tells them in stories and then it will stick to them. It will be with them for a very long time so they won't forget. And the second reason is that 
it wasn't the right time for him to to be crucified. So he wouldn't go straight to the point that, oh, I am the king of kings, you know, so that they won't capture him without him fulfilling all his prayers. Yes. So that's the second reason. Then the next question, who was the only female? It was um, Deborah. Deborah was the only female that went from the war uh, to the war and she conquered. So she was the only one. The third question, who is the only woman whose age was mentioned? It was Sarah Trey. You got that right? <laughs> More blessing to you. God bless you. Um, and I am the Lord Sarah. May your word to me be fulfilled was said by Mary in the book of Luke chapter 1 verse 38. When um, in the Gabriel visited Joseph and said that you shall conceive I mean, your wife, Mary shall conceive. So when Joseph now related the message back to Mary, it was like, oh, your word to me shall be fulfilled. I am the Lord's servant. Thank you, my brother. God bless you. The chosen are your fellow Lua. Answer the question. He said, only female judge was Deborah. And he also answered the third question. Um, Sarah, thank you, sir. You got it right. Thank you and God bless you. Now we shall quickly listen to my beautiful sister's song before we move forward. Please stay tuned and continue to share and it shall be well with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, 
for his good, for his wonderful, for his masses and dollars forever. We have all obtained his great mercy. His masses has kept us up to this moment. So we give God all glory, honor, and adoration. May he accept our thanks in the mighty name of Jesus. What a wonderful and um, blessing song. In fact, um, I do really enjoy the songs and I believe you guys do enjoy it as well. Please turn it to our YouTube channel, to our Facebook, to our Twitter to listen to more of it, it will surely bless your life. And I pray God Almighty will continue to bless us all in the mighty name of Jesus. Moving forward, can you please advise our viewers? Probably many are not yet to identify their great sin and they are struggling in identifying it. How can you encourage someone to identify their sin? Um, in order for one to identify one's seed, 
it, it stems out of there is something that you do effortlessly. Mm -hmm. There is something that you do that it gives you joy. Like you, you find that when you're doing it, it's just like second nature to you. That is where you should be getting that hit mm -hmm. that maybe this is my, you know, that's how it's like what we call talent, mm -hmm. you know. And then once you know that this is your talent, it's, it pays to be in the right environment as well for it to be nurtured. Mm -hmm. As you know, we were having a conversation earlier on about yeah. you know our children. Mm -hmm. When we start seeing that one thing that they're good, they like them. Mm -hmm. It's better to start young. Like for me, when I when I was growing up, I just knew that I was just doing it in the church. Mm -hmm. But I probably could have done better. That's do you understand? Right. Maybe if if it's something that my parents had I've noticed, noticed, mm -hmm. and they thought like there's a calling upon my life, mm -hmm. they'll probably probably send me to a music school or mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm learn an instrument something you know and mm -hmm. then so now we as parents we when we see that there's something that our kids are particularly strong and passionate about, about we should you encourage it okay. you know of course with their studies and everything like that but you will find that they find joy in it mm -hmm. you know and it gives them like a sense of um it gives them confidence as well because that's where they excel mm -hmm. there's something about when you're struggling with something and when, when you're, you're doing, doing something easily yeah so mm -hmm. i think that is where it comes and then sometimes people do have the gift mm -hmm. but they don't want to follow through mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. another thing mm -hmm. there's, there's oh, wow. that which that can be a bit difficult that's because right. you know we have we do have people that have talents but they're like no I'm not following through. Mm -hmm. I want to do something else. Mm -hmm. Until that conviction comes, and they, right. you know, and they have that, they hear it clearly. This is your calling. Mm -hmm. That is when they will not go into mm -hmm. it. But if, as as family members, as friends, you know, as relatives, you see that there's somebody in in the, in you know in your family that you feel like they've got this particular so we should encourage encourage it. them. Mm -hmm. You know, nurture them. Sometimes they might they might you know not. Pay attention, Pay attention to, it. to it. That mm -hmm. might be it. But when you point them, you say, you know, you're so good at this. It's mm -hmm. like when 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 I, kids when they're picking their subject in school, and they're like, I don't like this particular subject, but they're so <laughs> good in that particular subject. Subjects. And you're like, but you're so good, but like, yeah, but I don't enjoy it. I'm like, how is that possible? You know, so. <laughs> so they didn't get the get it right. And that's right. Is what they have passion for that makes what they do that makes them happy. Mm -hmm. What they enjoy doing. It could be their sage because the the inspiration will come. Definitely. Like you find out what you enjoy doing, your mm. talent. There's something about it. You know the ideas it comes to you, and of course it's God's grace as well. Mm -hmm. Definitely, you need you need it's, it's grace. Hallelujah! It Thank you so grace. much for sharing that. Can you please appreciate one or two people that uh, supported you in your journey, or people that are yet to support you, support your music career? Please appreciate someone, please. Thank you to my family. Thank you to my husband. Hello. <laughs> and my children, bless them. I remember when we're going to studio, like literally, they they are my fans. And they're like, no, mommy, that key, no, 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 ah, no way. And, <laughs> you know, and then you know, my sisters, you know, mm. my cousins, you know, they 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 were there for me. My sister especially. Oh my gosh, she'd be like, nah, nah. Nah, now you've, you've got to do that again. <laughs> and some, funny enough, one of the songs, you know, turn my mess to testimony. testimony. That I can never forget. We were in the kitchen, mm. and we were just talking, just like normal um, conversation. Mm. And then we were just saying, oh, you know, I don't know if it was a, it was just a normal chat. And that was it. I was like, come on, let's record this. Mm. I said, come on, let's just let's let's turn it, and it just turned into a song right there and there but i didn't even know that that song was going to be you know part of the ones that i was seeing in my album so and then and i appreciate all those that have listened over and over again my friends you know my family my church you know my um pastor blessing <laughs> you know it'd be like i say him that i don't know how this is don't worry you don't know you're still going places i'm like yeah <laughs> you know sometimes when you can't see that places yeah <laughs> but you know and my parents my mom my my goodness she'd be like ah you are support i said mommy everything has you know, <laughs> no, but it, yeah. So I, I really appreciate them, and also for for the likes of you as well, because this 
I, I was not, you know, it wasn't even something that I, if, if they say to me, Bami, you're coming, you know, live today, I'll be like, <laughs> where is that coming from? So giving us the opportunity, you know, to showcase our talent and then just so that people can hear from us. And it is true, for those that are yet to hear from us, keep tuning in, yeah. definitely. We're going places, we've been sent to the four Amen. corners of the world mm -hmm. to impact lives. Like when we sing, when we open our mouth, power mm -hmm. comes out, oh, yes. you know, just mere acquaintance with us. Mm. There, there is an impact, there's an impactation, mm -hmm. you know, because we're not ordinary beings. Mm -hmm. as, wherever I go, I say, look, I'm not ordinary. Mm -hmm. In my workplace, they know we're not ordinary beings. You know, we go there positively impacting mm -hmm. our world mm -hmm. in, in, in my in career, in ministry. So thank you, everyone. Thank you, viewers. Thank you for those that are tuning today. Mm -hmm. I hope you've learned one or two things, and I'm sure you're truly blessed. Amen. And then you will definitely come up with a testimony that you didn't waste your time today. Amen. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for your part in our life, for supporting our music career, and it shall be well with you all in the mighty name of Jesus. This is a little gift from Sweet Heart Fruit. Kindly Amen. appreciate Sweet Heart Fruit, please. Thank you. Wow. Okay. This is this is really healthy. I'm gonna be coming on that after. <laughs> <laughs> thank you so much. You are very welcome. Mm -hmm. I would like to appreciate everyone that tuned in tonight. Thank you so much. You are all wonderful. My uh, the chosen and your fair, my brother Odunega. Thank you so much. I can't thank you enough. My sister here today, my mother Ola Bisi, uh, um, Ola Tobo Swawumuti, my sister Ola Kweju Johnson. Even those that are not here today, but they are usually on this platform at all time that we come up. I do really appreciate you. May the Lord announce you for good before i forget tomorrow is my special day hey, <laughs> tomorrow is my birthday so tomorrow right on this same channel we'll be having a thanksgiving section and also a prophetic prayer session as the lord has commanded please join in to be blessed I beg you, share, and then also invite friends and family. It's going to be great in this present because, you know, when the Lord said, go and do this, and you are like, ah, ah, oh, well, you know, but then we still need to obey the voice of the Lord. I will have done it usual way, the way I love to do it. But the Lord said, go out there. I want you to prophesy in the life of people. I want you to use your birthday as a thanksgiving for me only and also bless other people for that reason i'm proclaiming this to you not by my knowledge not by my wisdom but according to the spirit of the lord please do turn in to enjoy the presence of god with me tomorrow at 8 30 p.m on safe omega media and also lua show akishon facebook account please Invite your friends and family. There shall be deliverance. Trust me. There shall be deliverance. There shall be deliverance. And I pray God Almighty will spare us beyond tomorrow in the mighty name of Jesus. It's my birthday tomorrow. Join me to celebrate with me and it shall be well with you. A big thank you to my wonderful humble Olawale Akishon for broadcasting this media for us at all time. In fact, I don't know much I can pay you, but I know my heaven. We pay you, my God Almighty, we pay you. He will repay you in multiple fold in the mighty name of Jesus because you are the one supporting this program mostly. And I pray God will continue to enable you in the mighty name of Jesus. Till next week that we meet again tomorrow. Yes. Let's meet here tomorrow before you see the meet on next Monday. Let's meet here tomorrow again. And I pray God Almighty will touch us all in the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you and stay blessed. you might be watching me from all over the world a warm greeting to your heart my name is Shion Akishon I'm using this medium to introduce to you a powerful program on Safe Omega Media titled a seed in me a seed in me a seed in me what is that seed in you that is yet to discover Join me on this program to discuss on how we can discover the seed in us. A seed that can allow you to shine in life. 
according to the book of Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 says arise and shine for your glory has come without you discover the seed in you you can never shine without you knowing how to grow your seed you can never shine without you knowing how to nurture your seed you can never shine without you knowing how to use your seed to impart life positive you can never shine join me on on facebook live at safe omega media thank you and god bless you but tell a friend to tell a friend thank you